Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another project share. So, sorry, you gotta see my messy shelf over here. So I have these drawers and then I have stuff on top of the drawers. Uh, and normally, I don't want you to see that, but I can't, there's no other way for me to film this thing because it's so big. Um, yeah, and that's why it's like vertical and it won't be like full screen. Sorry. I don't know. I couldn't figure out any other way to do it um, without cutting it off. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Anyway, so this is a... Um, it's actually a home decor item that I found at the Target dollar spot and I thought it was really cute because it said ho 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 and it had the jingle bells instead of the O's. So I picked that up maybe a few weeks ago. I want to say maybe in guarantee it was in November. I don't exactly know when but it was about when the dollar spot item started changing over to Christmas. And um, so I snatched it up. It was probably either three or five dollars. I can't even remember but um, and I'm very like famous for buying these kinds of things thinking I'm going to alter it and then I never do so I'm super proud that I did it yay so I my intention was to you know just add in a few embellishments or whatever to make it more um, crafty and so what I ended up doing was I made it into a shaker so as you can see on the bottom I added in a bunch of goodies and you know you can use your chunkier items I didn't actually put that much because I was afraid it was gonna cover the words the ho 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 but I really should have put more um, I was actually gonna put the fake snow and now I wish I did but it's too late now I already covered it and it is what it is so um so what I did was I just got a piece of acetate and I used a thicker one because I wanted to make sure because it was not like a, just a regular card that it was gonna like hold up so um I found a thicker one that you know I had from before I don't even know if it was just from packaging or something but it's not your normal acetate it's a little bit thicker and then I just cut it down to size so I think this thing was like 10 and a half by five and a half or 10 by five and a half and then um and then I just glued it around the edges and I let it dry. Um and then um the next day yeah the next day I got my um we are memory keepers frame punch board and I attempted to make a frame. But the problem is the area that will cut from one corner to another is not that long. So it only cut like to maybe about here. So I actually got my scissors and I eyeballed it. So over here is a little wonky. That's why I have the Christmas tree here to kind of hide it. So you call that the Ace of Cakes technique because um, if you ever watch the show Ace of Cakes, they always talk about how if you see a flower in a area in some place where maybe you know you wouldn't think to put a flower, it's probably because there's something that happened there, and that's what happened here. So <clears throat> anyway, so that's why. It kind of has like this decoration on the side, but I wanted also to have balance here. So, um, anyway, so then I broke down and I picked up the doodle bug, uh, what is it called? Um, odds and ends the night before Christmas. And I got that at my local scrapbook store. It was kind of pricey, but I just, I wanted to just do it. Like, you know, when you have something in your head and you, you kind of know what you want to do. I saw Christian's, um, haul from three craft chicks and she was showing this and I thought oh my god that would be the perfect thing to put at the top um I actually wanted to put on this gingerbread that I had cut out on my silhouette look guys I'm using my silhouette um but and it was a good size it just I guess because he's more brown because he's gingerbread he kind of blended in a little bit too much with the background so um the good thing about these odds and ends is that it's white and it has like a white um was it called border around it so I thought it would kind of pop out a little bit more because of that so and it's a good chance for you to use your larger size die cuts like I always have a hard time using up the big stuff and so it was it was a nice opportunity to be able to use the bigger um, die cuts that come in the pack so anyway um, I because it's Santa I thought ho 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 it's better to put the Santa and the fact that the reindeer fit perfectly across the top um, was also a good you know that was the reason why I used this one um, to make it more sturdy what I did was I put um, acid I glued Santa and the reindeer onto an acetate sheet and then I fussy cut around it and that's just to give it more stability because the die cuts themselves over time like if you store it and stuff it may 
um, bend or whatever depending on what happens so I didn't want I wanted it to be able to last more than just this year so hopefully next year when I pull it out it will still be intact um, and that's why I used acetate to kind of back it up and then um, I did the same thing with the tree and the presents and then I have a little mouse down here because it's like not a creature was stirring so cute right so that's the mouse um, yeah so I, I mounted all of these on acetate um, before gluing them down and then um, and these are all like on foam tape so it's a little bit more like dimensional um, I did the tree I did the presents and the mouse oh no maybe not the tree the tree is not on foam tape it's just on the acetate um, and then because I used the peppermints and the snowflakes in here I decided to um, use that to kind of embellish a little bit more because it still looked a little bit plain to me so I finally found my white snowflakes I've been looking for them for a while I finally found that and then I just glued a bunch on along with the peppermints and it still needed a little bit something more so I added on these little jammies um, that I just found in my stash. I don't even know what brand it is. But anyway, that is my home decor project. Like, I'm super proud that I actually did it this year. Because, again, I always, <laughs> always buy it. And then I never do it. And then I end up giving it away or whatever. So, um, so I, I encourage you, if you are like me and you buy that kind of stuff, just go ahead. bust. And it's a really great way to use your ephemera packs. Um, it doesn't even have to be a Christmas thing. Like, if you have other kinds of um home decor things it actually makes really cute gifts so if you're looking to gift somebody something for the holidays or like there's other a lot of like home like home sweet home kind of stuff that you could also alter and you know send out to a friend so anyway um hope you like my project and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye